Continuing on the subject of the importance of the education, but moving to Myanmar, after Cyclone Nagas wrecked a large part of the country in 2008, Sidi undertook the task of helping to rebuild five elementary and middle schools in Yangon's Kunyangon town area. The first of the architectural projects was number four basic education middle school in Tingangkun. Originally a primary school, after seeing the blueprints, the government upgraded it to a middle school even before groundbreaking took place. Opened in June of 2009 and now under government management since March 6, 2010, the number four basic education middle school is home to more than 1,000 pupils. After being destroyed by Cyclone Nagas in 2008, Number 4 Basic Education Middle School in Tingan Yun is now back on its feet. Since the school's commencement in 2009, more classes have been added every year. The principal hopes one day her school can be upgraded to a senior high school. <laughs> Right now it is a primary school and middle school branch campus. Once we have grade 8, we will officially become a middle school. The next step is to be a senior high school branch campus, after which we can be upgraded to a proper senior high school. Originally just a primary school, the number 4 Tingan Yu was so well designed to fit the criteria of a junior high school that just three days before the groundbreaking ceremony, the Burmese government proclaimed it as both a primary and junior high school. During the reconstruction, Taiwan's city construction committee flew to Myanmar several times to ensure every detail was complete. In Suji's language, the building we want is one that smiles, one that is stately, yet enduring. Had it been triangular, it would have been too severe. We are doing this on behalf of all the donors of this cause, wherever they are in the world, so that every penny that is spent on the school comes with the love with which it was donated. In 2008, Cyclone Nagas destroyed the then 44-year-old school, leaving it with only one classroom. In the aftermath of the disaster, class was broken up into half-day sessions so that all 800 students can take turns to use the classroom. Even so, some had to go to school in a nearby temple. Nonetheless, pupils learned with a passion. Resurrected after the devastation, the school is now a haven of knowledge for children, a place where they are taking the first step to being able to pursue their dreams with hope and vigor.